right. Hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop Online Sales Magazine and Pipeliner CRM joining you from beautiful blue sky San Diego as usual. And today I am joined by Stacy Barnfuss, who is in Boise, Idaho. How are you doing, Stacy? I'm doing great, John. Happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you got blue skies there too, I hope. Yes, we do. We had some smoky skies earlier this week, but it's all cleared up, thankfully. Excellent. And Stacy is the founder and CEO of the Catalyst Group and the creator of the Limitless Realtor Circle, a professional training program for realtors. And as we were just talking before we came on air, Stacy started her first real estate business at the age of 19, which is very, very impressive. So what made you, uh, before we get into talking about our subject today, which is limitless mindset, what, what made you start a real estate business at 19? Yeah, so it was um, an interesting situation where I was, I was actually a senior in high school um, at the time and was joking around for, with some friends and applied at a local real estate office as a salesperson and they hired me as one of the assistants. And so I worked there part time while I finished high school and being exposed to, you know, the market, it was 2004, 2005, it was very busy and um, it opened my eyes to a gap that I saw in the industry and a way that I could help improve it. And so that inspired me to, you know, stay that course and furthermore, go and get my real estate license, you know, when I was 19 after working there for a little bit and, you know, make my imprint on the industry from there. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to talk about your limitless mindset or our limitless mindset and how to approach life and business to become a magnet for opportunity. So let's be honest, uh, Stacy. given the situation that we're in today, um, some people might, might struggle with this concept of having a limitless mindset. So maybe you want to baseline it for people. What does it mean and how can you actually adopt one? Yes. Yeah, so, you know, the first thing I like to um, say is that society, you know, without a pandemic, without a, you know, crazy year like 2020 has been, society and the way that, you know, we're raised is mostly conditioning us to, you know, only go so far. It's very much based on how we're raised and the environment that we're brought up in gives us that limited perspective. And so that's the first step in having a limitless mindset is seeing that none of that is true and really asking yourself, you know, what is it that you want to go for and designing the steps to fill that gap and get to that end result. Yeah, because it's interesting because the the idea of, of limitless or, or abundance is you have an abundant mindset. You believe that there's so much opportunity out there that there's enough for everybody or it's limitless, as you say, or you're conditioned with the approach that there is a finite amount. And, and if, if you, Stacy, get a piece of it, that's a piece that you are taking away from me. So there's less for me. So, you know, why bother? Uh, so, I mean, that's a big shift, isn't it, for people to, especially if they've grown up with a kind of finite mindset as opposed to an abundant one. Yes, it's very true. And, you know, what's beautiful about our paths as individuals and, you know, as a collective is that people don't want to believe it, but it's as simple as making a new decision today. And if you see life that way, you can make the decision to pursue that limitless mindset versus, you know, that finite mindset, even if that's the way you were conditioned and raised. Mm -hmm. And so then how, when you, when you started your business and as you've gone on, how did having this mindset, how did it, how did it manifest in your business? Yeah. So it manifested in the results that I was able to get, but in the timeline more than anything of, you know, starting the, you know, the effort out to that end result. And so I definitely attribute my path and the success in my path to this mindset, because it's one thing to have that abundant mindset, you know, that's going to draw those things in, you know, to your experience, but it's another thing going that limitless route, just because you're not only attracting those things, but you are calling to them, calling them to you in a much more efficient timeline. So you're able to cover more ground that way. So for, so for people listening, when you say calling them to you, could you um, elaborate a little more on that? 
Yes. So what I mean by that is when you are really clear about what it is that you want, which is, you know, piggybacking what I said earlier of, you know, really getting clear on that and not limiting yourself in that way. But when you're clear on that, the universe conspires to help you get what you want. And, you know, from a very practical standpoint, if you have a clear intention and you show up and make that effort consistently day in and day out, that is what I mean when I'm, you know, you're calling mm. it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's, it's, it's interesting because sometimes when, you know, people hear things like this or they read have books or whatever, they just think, Oh, well, if I just visualize this or if I just say it and, and then it'll, you know, it'll come to me. And then after a while I'll say, well, it's not coming to me because it doesn't happen without the action part. You have to do all the right things as well as have the mindset. Exactly. And one thing that I like to do is whenever I'm after something, I make a list of what are all the ways that I can do my part and exhaust all options. And that even more so, you know, in that list helps me get more clarity on what else I could be doing to move it along. Yeah, because I think it's I think it's really important, and I think that's the as I said that's what the mistake that people make sometimes uh, is they don't realize that the more effort you put into it at the same time. So it's 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 a many it's a multi pronged approach in many ways. It's getting your mind right, it's getting your circumstances right, but it's also as you say, then sitting down and doing the hard work of planning things out, figuring out different ways of doing things, but with your eye firmly on your goal. Exactly. Yeah. And so some, uh, how are some of the ways then that you, as you were with your real estate business, what are some of the things that you think that you do differently and that maybe you help other people with, with your limitless uh, realtor um, circle? How do you help people approach their business differently and execute their business differently? Yes. So by simplifying the things that they need to do every day, and you know, what I mean by that is helping them narrow down on, you know, one to three types of lead generation that they want to pursue. So, and break it down to who they're calling, what they're saying, when they're doing that, because there's so much that goes on in the real estate industry, as you know, that mm -hmm. it, the simplification of those daily to do's make it so it's it's not something you have to think about it's not taking up you know any any space it's it's just able to be a habit and so that's one aspect and then the other aspect is thinking about things and i i always say thinking about things from a a bird's eye view instead of a worm's eye view so mm. worm being you know limited is when you are in an, a situation with a, a buyer or seller or someone that you know, you know, what I encourage people to do is look beyond that interaction and how that connection leads to, you know, the next three connections and that leading with the awareness of how everything is so interconnected gives, you know, those salespeople that awareness to treat each situation, you know, with that high level of care and concern. Yeah, no, I think that's a really important point, and I, I just want to underline it for people there because yes, you we live in a very connected world, and today if you're going to be successful in selling anything, you have it's it's a networked sell in many ways. We personally we call it network selling, and to your point is it's a it's about looking at all of the connections even beyond the person you're you're um, connecting with or or interacting with at that moment. And it's, so you have to, as you say, you have to focus on that person, but you also have to look behind them, beside them, beyond them. Exactly. Yeah. One of the things that, I mean, I, I still recall to this day, the first house that I bought in the, in the U S um, we were, rec my accountant recommended me to a, a, bro a mortgage broker at the time. And uh, that mortgage broker showed me that he had this laminated flow chart right on his wall of every single referral he knew who they came from where they went and you know down to who bought who they referred them this whole flow chart he had so at any time now you could do it digitally obviously but at the time he could he could look and see where everything came from and he was expanding this all the time and i just thought that was so impressive yeah there's so much opportunity you know i, th I think about a recent experience i had with the development that I, I purchased and went on to build mm -hmm. the lender, you know, obviously there's fees and interest I'm paying the sure. lender. And I thought, 
they probably have another big developer that they could refer. So I called that lender and said, I'm paying you so much in fees. You should, who do you know that I can help, you know, buy and sell. And they ended up referring me um, a pretty large developer in the area. And so it's just things like that, thinking outside the box that can really grow your business exponentially. And it's asking the question there. Uh, it, uh, what I love about the example that you just gave is uh, sometimes you hear people and referrals is, is something that just drives me nuts sometimes is because um, salespeople like forget to do it or don't do it. Or they say oh, it doesn't really it doesn't really work. But what you just talked about there is you went, hang on a second. And then you just asked the question and look what it led to. Because if you don't ask the question, you'll never find out. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And, um, and, and I think that's a, that's another great positive message to take away here is that fact is that you, again, you were thinking beyond your immediate opportunity because at that moment you were focusing on your own development and getting funding and all of that for your own development. But you took a pause for a moment to say, hang on a second, there could be something beyond this. Yes, exactly. And there's just so much opportunity that, that comes, you know, from it unfolding from that point and um, also, you know, makes you feel better about, all the fees you're paying too. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. And then, so, um, so have you, with some of the people that you've mentored and that in your circle, I mean, how have you, how have you seen their businesses change and them change as people? Yeah. So because I do take that whole life approach, I really do see them blossom as people, you know, wholeheartedly and mm. in their business as well. So that's, what's so exciting about this is that it's not just, the business aspect, but, you know, from the business aspect, because it is such a simplified process, I've seen, you know, agents that are brand new going from a couple of deals to selling, you know, 6 million in their first year, or, you know, a seasoned agents bring more to their bottom line. So more profitable and, you know, they're taking more vacations. And so that that's definitely been great to see that it's, it's impacting both the seasoned agents and the new agents because a lot of programs, it's very specialized. You know, it's, mm -hmm. if you're a new agent, do this. And if you're seasoned, do this. And so it's, it's nice to have something that is, you know, able to be used by all. Yeah. And, and let's face it, uh, uh, all of this is, you know, a realtor or somebody in other sales, a lot of it's based on trust and the connection with your, with your um, customer, et cetera. If you have that whole life approach, if you exude a kind of calmness and contentment with your life, then it's more likely that a, a customer is going to connect with you, more likely they're going to refer you, and, and more likely that, uh, that you're going to have a, a successful kind of win-win relationship. And I think that's a bit that some people miss sometimes, and especially, I mean, even in your business, let's face it, I mean, there's a lot of realtors who like a run around like crazy and maybe you're with them and they're taking phone calls from other people. They're saying, Oh, hang on, I got to do this and that. And they just look, they, their life comes across as if it's chaotic. Yes. That's such a great point, John. You know, it's like, especially in sales, the clients are hiring us to, you know, be that professional that can guide them. And there's nothing worse when a realtor or in a different industry, you know, a salesperson mm -hmm. shows up and they are so chaotic that creates doubt, fear, and question in the consumer's mind. And if you simply focus and have that calm, peaceful inner state, it creates such trust and rapport naturally and quickly that it, you don't know how much it impacts the client. Yeah, and I mean, I've had experiences in my own life for where uh, in in a real in a real estate you know transaction when because let's face it, I mean, you know better than me, but curveballs are part of the game, aren't they? Especially ones that sort of come very late in the process, and then having having a, a realtor who is calm and can sort of take a step back and say, okay, let's figure out a solution through this. I mean, that's a huge thing for for a customer. And that's, that's what's going to win you the long-term referrals and the testimonials. Absolutely. Yes. Just the ability to, you know, not only get the result, but bring that calm and hope to them. You know, as I say, sometimes it's invaluable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, and today, uh, obviously uh, with the pandemic and stuff, you know, how has your business adjusted and how have you managed to maintain these relationships given that, you know, the circumstances may be a little bit different? Yes. So it's, it's been interesting. Our market has gone to a next level of, of bonkers. It, it's just 
crazy busy here in Boise, Idaho market. Um, but the way that we've adapted through this pandemic is, you know, using more videos and, you know, imaging so that if we cannot show it a house to someone, you know, mm -hmm. we have that backup plan. So definitely, you know, using technology um, so that we can serve our clients still at that same level. And, um, you know, just taking it up a notch from a client service perspective and anticipating their needs before they have the chance to ask is something that has really helped our clients, um, you know, just manage the fear and the concern that isn't related necessarily to our experience or transaction, but just the awareness that this is a real thing happening for people and addressing that, you know, real mm -hmm. people to people has helped a lot. Yeah. And, and obviously, uh, because of the, the pandemic in many ways, people have reflected a lot more and maybe made sort of life decisions they were postponing, they've, they've, they've put off, uh, and now maybe they're saying, okay, well, maybe now is the time to move, maybe now is the time to, I'm, I'm working virtually anyway, I might as well go live where I always wanted to live or whatever. So you're probably interacting as well with a lot of people who are making big life-changing decisions now and making them probably sooner than they thought they would. It's so true. You know, I, I think that that is a positive if there could be one, you know, of this pandemic mm -hmm. is it's been a, a life check for a lot of people that were postponing what they truly wanted and taking action on those dreams because things, things got real when everything shut down. And, and so I think that was a good part to, you know, reality check for people. Yeah, absolutely. And I noticed that uh, even the traditional selling, um, selling periods are extending now because, well, here, uh, you know, people are virtual schooling, so you wouldn't see a lot of houses on the market normally after, you know, June or July because people are getting ready for school and all that. Now it seems to, it seems to be just like normal. Yes. Yeah, we are seeing that too. You know, there isn't that rush to get into the house because the school mm -hmm. kids have to be to that school. So it's interesting how that's affected things in that regard. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, Stacey, this has been uh, fascinating. Uh, I love the, the limitless approach. I love the work you're doing with people. Uh, all of Stacey's information will be in her contributor bio below this um, video. But before we go, please do tell people a little bit more about yourself and what you do. Yeah, so um, I run a residential real estate company here in Boise. Um, most recently, I just finished my first development, which was 11 custom homes. I'm very excited that that is complete um, after two years. And um, I've created the Limitless Realtor Circle to try to elevate the industry and give realtors a foundation to start their businesses from because quite often they go to real estate school and that's it, you know, and so that, mm -hmm. that business guidance and foundation so that, you know, they don't have to make the mistakes, you know, or have the delays in, in progress and success that I did, there is a blueprint to follow for um, the, you know, zero to six figures path, if that's what they choose. Um, so that's what I'm up to. Yeah, that's fantastic. And uh, well, I mean, obviously, from your success, you haven't had that many delays. So Looks like things have gone pretty good. All right. Well, I would encourage people if you're in the if you're in the realtor business, if you're in the residential realtor business, I would uh, absolutely uh, recommend you to check out Stacy and her work. All right. My name is John Golden, Sales Pop Online, Sales Magazine Pipeliner CRM. I'll see you all for another expert interview really soon. Thanks, Stacy. Thanks, John.